If you guys are looking for super cheap and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got 24-7 support. Guys, don't waste your money on packs. Hit up the sponsor. Use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off of your entire order. What's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over how to complete your Mutt Master Sam Mills as fast as possible, get him to 94, and pretty much get the best player on your team by far, considering he's the highest overall in the game, and you get him for free. So make sure you are following my steps. I will go over the best ways to finish this, kind of go over how you want to complete all the objectives, and kind of go over the base. Now, guys, before someone clowns me and says, how can I take advice from someone with the 60 overall with no coins? Guys, for all you seeing this matter how late in the year, I am currently, I'm stuck at a glitch. Very known glitch right now. I cannot play on Xbox. I'm locked out of my account for four days now. It really sucks. So I have to play on PC. But regardless, the steps to finishing Mutt Master is the same. It does not matter what console you do it on, where you do it. I'm just making the video on here because I have no access to Mutt. So before you clowns go, go to town on me. There you go. Now, guys, before we get into today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn that on, boys. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, smash the like button, guys. If this helps you guys out, I know this video should do well for you guys and help you guys out. Make sure to go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe for tips year long. So let's head over to the binder and go check out Sam Mills and show you guys pretty much what overall I can get up to and then go over all the steps to get him up faster. Now, guys, as we go down here, uh, real quick, if you guys do want to build a God Squad, make sure you use code Poodle at checkout at MuttReserve.com down below in the description. Guys, it's way better than opening packs. Keep, keep reiterating that's everyone. You do not want to waste your money on packs right now. I cannot stress that enough. Go ahead and make your god squad guys now this card is super overpowered he does get up to a 94 overall which is pretty awesome guys considering he's a free card you're gonna be the best card like i said in your team uh to get him you need to complete all those objectives in the objective list if you guys want to upgrade him i did drop a video going over up how to upgrade him now here you go he will have an 89 speed as you can see by the plus nine speed he will have a 90 90 hit power he's gonna be he, guys he's gonna be insane gonna be one of the best cards in the game by a long shot going to be freaking amazing so you definitely want to get him up as quickly as possible the quicker you get him up the bigger advantage you have on pretty much everyone in the game quite literally so you definitely want to get it done quickly now there's two ways to go about this some people will go ahead and just play the game and get it done as time goes on if you take that route it could take you a few months other people will grind the game super hard like a content creator and do it casually and now take them like a month or two not all the way guys getting it all the way takes a while but getting it at least to a 90 where it's very usable is going to take like a month if you grind straight all month now, if you're going to just grind, if you're like a casual grinder here and there, some solos, some online games, you're probably going to take you a few months to even get him up to like mid 90s where he is at, where his max is. But let's go over the easiest ones to do and work away from there. So coming on over, there's Mutt Master Progression and Mutt Master Series. Now, before we get to Progression, keep an eye on the Series ones because these are the ones that will give you coins. All you need is a combined total of 70 sacks and 150 tackles with Sam Mills. So just play, put him in, make sure you're starting your Mills guys in solo challenges. Make sure you are starting them to get your easy, easy objectives done. If you complete this list, you will be getting 100,000 coins. So make sure you do get that done and you get a plus one overall to him. And all it takes is to play with him. Now, these are the ones you got to do. So easiest one on the list by far, guys, three multiplayer wins. Definitely get this one done and get your free collectible. Go Mutt Squads. Do my, go back to my coin method. My, my Mutt Draft coin method. Go get that done. Get your free, easy win wins and then go ahead and get this winning so that's the easiest one here 100 stars and challenges go ahead play solos this one again these aren't like a way to get faster just go get them done playing solos now you cannot repeat solo challenges you have to do new ones to earn more stars a regular solo you can get up to five stars with bonuses which means you pretty much only have to play about 20 to 25 solos depending on how many stars you get guys you can get that just play your rivals and play your epics get those done you pretty much have it already so simple again to go ahead and complete this now win 100 games with an 82 overall team guys my best advice i can give you if you're like a 75 overall team, no money spent guy, don't worry about this one just yet. Complete some other stuff and come back to it. But guys, if you're an 80 overall, I cannot stress this enough. Do not be the guy that's an 82 or an 81 overall and plays like 100 solo challenges and then sees this objective and then has to get to 82. Then realizes they're probably they've done most of the good solo challenges, so now they have to play online for 100 games. Much different experience, 100 solos versus 100 online games. So make sure if you're like an 80 overall, 81, go spend some coins. Spend like 100k and buy yourself some player skate overall up. Finish this objective, then you can sell them back off afterwards. But definitely do not want to be wasting your games because 100 solos could take you like literally a few hours if you do like all journey type level solos, like a few objectives. But if you have to do all online games and you don't like the good solos that are left for you because there's not that many solos in the game, good luck, guys. That's all I gotta say. If you have to do 100 online games, it's, it's doable, but if you're not an online player, it's gonna be, and you have to win them too. So trust me, it could be quite, quite a hassle for some people. Complete 15 daily objective list, guys. Best advice for this one, make sure you are going ahead and logging into Mutt every day. Like, if you know, uh, Tuesday, I work most of the day. I'm not playing Mutt today. Wake up right before work, if you have time, of course, or school. Get up, 
just go, all you gotta do is open two silver packs and one two, uh, a silver pack, one silver pack, and then one two solos. Hop on two solos real quick, it takes you like five minutes, and then open up a silver pack, get your objective, and leave. The worst thing you could do is not do this one, because nothing's worse than like, oh my god, I'm so close to getting my Sam Mills max out, what do I need? Oh, 15 daily objectives, I'm off by five, let's say. I never did my daily objective, I'm off by seven. That's seven full days you have to wait, like that's, in my time, like that's like, wow, a whole week to get something that you could have had right there and then. So make sure you're getting that done. All right, guys, now for this tackle one. This one's pretty easy. You get this just by playing the game. Now, it says team tackles. It doesn't specify user tackles, but you can switch on and make the tackles if you want. But more than likely, your team will get this naturally. You can uh, One way to boost through these, like, super fast, not boosting, but, like, to get them done as quickly as possible, just head on to solo challenges that are, like, defensive, like, don't let them score in this drive or, or any of those. Play them on easy, especially. You don't want to play them on hard. Just don't hit stick them because if you hit stick them, they're going to fumble and the soul's going to end. Make sure, just get go into defense like a... My best advice, go like in a man up, a man up three deep or something. So you make sure that you won't force it. You, you, you let them keep passing in front of you or do something that makes it, let them get like seven to eight plays in that 50 yard distance if you can. And just keep making tackles. You can easily get like five to 10 tackles per solo, which could only, which will end up taking you for this one. Like, it'll still take a while guys. But that's if you're near the end. In my opinion, I wouldn't boost for tackles right now. You have so much else, else to do. In my opinion, the best thing you can do is go ahead, play some online, play, play the game and then come back and be like, oh, I'm, I'm a 2000 tackle short. Then start trying to get into it. Uh, for the passing ones, guys, there's two ways to do this one, too. Again, my best recommendation is do all your solos first, get through the game, and then once you once you see what you have left, work from there. For passing, if you're not max mult level, guys, just like last year, find a solo challenge that requires you to pass for a touchdown, and just keep playing that one and replaying it to level up like we did last year, except in this one, every time you pass, make sure you get one that you start pretty far back, like a 20 or something, and, uh, you know, finish this drive, pass for one touchdown, and just keep bombing the ball to Tyree Kill or wherever you got. That'll be like 80 to 70 yards per clip. It'll take a while, but last year, that's exactly how we got this stuff done. Trust me, it's much better than getting 50,000 yards. In, like, let's say you play a full game, 35 minutes, 40 minutes, and you only pass like 250, 350, 400 in 35 minutes. You could easily get 80. You can get like 500 passing yards every like seven minutes if you do it in a solo, give or take, depending on how much longer it takes to la uh, load out these times. Passing touchdown, same thing. Same solo sequence. Do the same exact thing as you're throwing the power passing. You'll be getting touchdowns, so you can easily get like... 10 touchdowns every 10 minutes one minute it usually can take like 25 30 seconds but again you have to load out and in again and or you have to uh do the celebration you can more or less get like 10 touchdowns per uh 10 minutes you can easily get like 16 hour you do this one hour every for like a week or two you can easily get this done uh rushing yards guys same thing as the passing thing you're gonna go ahead and find a solo that score a rushing touchdown from pretty far out and just keep replaying that one and getting it. if you don't score that's fine the rushing yards will still i'm pretty sure count so go ahead and rush you don't get the touchdown it restarts you or whatever or something it doesn't really matter and again, rushing is usually pretty easy to get in general. Uh, 125 rushing touchdowns, guys. Hand in hand, same thing. Now, for the sacks, the best thing you can do on this is you'll probably want to play on easy on a solo challenge and go ahead and you could use your D lineman. Or, the one thing advice I have to give to you guys, though, regarding this is that this year the computer is very good at passing away, like better than last year, passing away from a sack. Like, they're not going to be sacked to get rid of the ball. So you may even want to just use your, like, you see what works for you. If you're good at the D line user this year, definitely use your D line, get your easy sacks. But if they keep passing away, maybe you want to play like a man coverage. I would man them up, man blitz, and then use the guy on the running back and make sure you cut off whatever route they see and they will actually take the sack in that sense. And then for fumbles, guys, this is one of the easiest things to get. Literally, when you're playing on those defensive solos, what you can do is with the tackle solos you're going to be doing, instead of actually tackling them, like on like the eighth play that you're like, okay, I don't need another tackle, hit stick the hell, like the last, like a fourth down, hit stick them. It'll be an automatic fumble and the solo will end and you got your eight tackles. Just keep ending them just like that. And then complete two Mutt Master Series one activities that goes back all the way, guys, to this one right here. And these will be these will be done so simple. Why are you doing all those solos? You'll probably get these done. But you have to have to be done with Sam Mills, so you could either use him or hope he does his own thing. Really up to you guys. Depends on how you play. Uh, these will be harder to get in online games until you really upgrade him and he's good enough to be doing stuff like this. But to start off, he's gonna be kind of tough, so maybe don't rock with him on online. Really up to you guys. But guys, that pretty much does wrap up the video in terms of what you should be doing to get him as quickly as possible, guys. I hope this does help you guys out uh, with some just little ideas there. If you have a better variation of some things, of course, comment them down below. Help some people out. I think I pretty much nailed it, though, on how you want to get these done. Uh, solo is going to be the best bet for a lot of them. For me, I think I'd drive myself crazy if I did straight solos. That's why I'll probably get to, like, max mutt level. I'll probably get some online games done, maybe play some weekend league. And then, like, in a week or so, and I'm like, okay, I'm kind of close here and here. If I get these three done, I'll get them up from an 84 to an 87. An 87 is usable online for weekend league. That's all I need for now, just an 87. I'll find the three quickest things to do. Like, Pat, let's just say it's passing. Uh, passing the passing touchdowns and one other thing I'm like I'll do all those right now and get those done simultaneously get them up and work with it from there if you're a heavy grind you get the whole thing really up to you guys but
That's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If this does help or you think it will help, make sure to smash the like button, guys. Make sure to subscribe for tips all year long. Turn on that noti bell. That is super important. And comment down below. Let me know if you guys are going to be starting this and what overall your meals is at, guys. Better for the video. Thanks so much for watching. Use Cold Poodle. I'm out. Until the rest of the day. Peace.